Hi, this is Anil and welcome to the video tutorial for the learning light on C++ programming. So in this tutorial, we're going to learn how to throw the exceptions from the functions. So in our program, just for the demonstration purpose, let's create a function and uh, the return type is going to be void, you know, no return type. And then the function name, let's say test and then any parameters if that function takes. So no parameters and then we need to specify what type of exception you know this function that we're gonna write is gonna throw so here to specify that we need to write the keyword throw and then a pair of parentheses and between these parentheses we need to specify the type for example if your function is throwing integer type of exception you need to write int here and uh, if it is also throwing a character type exception then you need to write care and uh, you know it also throws a runtime error then uh, we need to write that here also you know like this separated by comma and if you don't specify anything here at that time you can't throw any exceptions from this function but here I'm gonna paste it again and now you know from this function we can throw these three types of exceptions so now we're gonna define the function body and we're not gonna write any statements you know we're just gonna throw any exception here so first we're gonna throw an integer type of exception let's say throw 20 high integer value so now in our main function we need to call this test function since this function is throwing some exceptions you know we need to place that between the try and cat block so it's gonna be try and then a pair of curly braces and between that curly braces we need to call this function so it's gonna be test and then we need to write the catch blocks so it's gonna be catch and here if you guys want to have three catch blocks you guys can have or you know if you guys want to write only one cat block you know it can handle all the exceptions you guys can do that so here we're just gonna write int e and we're gonna see out and e and uh, we're gonna say integer type all right now i'm going to copy this and paste it and let's change this one to c and here it's going to be character type and it's going to be c and again i'm going to copy this and paste it in the next line and let's change this one to r and here we're going to say runtime error let's change this one to r dot what you know we're gonna call the meta all right now i'm gonna save this i'm gonna build and run this and hopefully we don't have okay we have an error and uh, let's open up the logs and it says what in r is not a class type int okay that's because you know we have this type here you know we need to change this one to runtime error and also here is gonna be care all right now I'm gonna save this I'm gonna build and run it again and this time we're not gonna have any error and uh, okay now you guys can see integer type and we get 20 so now I'm gonna throw a character exception here and let's say C and I'm gonna build and run this and you know character type C and if I change this one to throw some runtime error let's say runtime error and uh, what the heck whatever it is and build and run it runtime error type and it says what the heck all right now you know we have specified here you know what type of exceptions our function test is throwing if we leave it blank you know at that time this function cannot throw any exception so if i try to build and run this you know we'll get the error now okay our program has crashed and it says uh, terminate called after throwing an instance of std runtime error what the heck all right so that's why you know when you throw exceptions from the function you need to specify that by using the throw block and uh, you guys can uh, specify multiple type of exceptions separated by comma so this is how you guys can specify what type of exceptions a particular function is gonna throw and uh, thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe and i'll see you in the next tutorial